Hello, welcome to project pack number 21. Wow, 21. I wow. know, right? My name is Molly and I'm here with my mom. Hi. <laughs> and um, I'm here to um, share you another glorious um, species that we have discovered and need to document in this unbelievable series. Um, if this is your first um, lesson in this series, we are talking about um, organic tangles, but specifically ones of botanical nature. Right. <laughs> and, or a little bit of an influence, a botanical right. influence. Yes, exactly. Yeah. I guess that's a better way to say it. Yeah. Um, we're super excited about that. My mom, you've always been so into botanical illustrations. Yes. So yes. that's really exciting. Um, so we're going to get going here in a bit, and you can learn more about um, this project pack in the introduction. But as usual, if you do not have the materials from project pack number 21, um, we invite you to use whatever you do have. Um, if you do have these most magnificent materials, mm -hmm. or you I, can even just watch, or you can watch, yeah. which is actually really fine too. And and maybe that would inspire us like something else yes. too. Yeah. Anyway, one bit, if you do have the materials, we are asking everybody not to throw away the envelopes as we will be using the envelopes as, um, in the last lesson. So make sure you don't alter or, um, destroy them or, or touch lose them. them. <laughs> I guess you have to touch them. To well, yeah, you don't want to mark anything on them yet. Right, yeah. exactly. Because we're going to be using them later. So anyway, let's carry on. Um, I have um, the materials here and I've already taken out um, another set. So I have those aside. I have a beautiful sheet here and um, I actually have almost all the pens here. I like to have them um, next to me in case because I'm never sure which ones I'm going to use. Because sometimes you just get inspired. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you, you don't want to be stuck in doing something that maybe grows in a different direction. Oh, grows. Yeah. Yes, I like that. So once you have all your materials ready, and if you have a buddy like I do, um, if you have them ready, and um, anything else you want to get ready, I invite all of you to um, spend a moment here to honor the Zentangle method and yourself and whatever it is that um, you are kind of channeling today. But um, for us, we just like to spend a moment for gratitude. So I invite you to take a nice deep breath. Maybe gently close your eyes and just like kind of narrow in on one thing that gives you energy and warmth and excitement. And I guess just that sense of feeling like there's goodness and amazingness um, to be found wherever you are. And when you're ready, I invite you to um, find your graphite pencil, get started here. And for this particular um, tangle of a botanical nature, <laughs> my mom came up with that name. We were trying to come up with a, a nice way to put that, and that was what we came up with. Um, I'm going to do a really simple string, but I think it'll help me kind of build my structure here. I'm going to be building a really big kind of blossom, right? And then with a little stem on it. So I'm going to start with my graphite pencil. I'm going to create a little bit of a string. It's always good to have something to, start, something with. to start with. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it, and it takes away that blank piece. I know, right? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. And just for location wise, I'm going to see where um, I have my my, my holes up here at the top and I'm seeing the words virtues in place. And I'm gonna kind of put a little bit of a string line right there and you can gauge like how big it is a little bit. And it's kind of like this, um, what you were saying, it's a, like a, a C that fell down. Yeah. <laughs> Backwards. <laughs> exactly. Backwards on his back. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna put something like that so that I can create my blossom here and then have a little room for a stem. So that's, um, it's just a little string, but it's something to get us started. So we're going to be working with this tangle called squid. Very exciting. And squid is one we don't use very often, but uh, I think it's like a good oldie, but goodie. And uh, I would say it has, um, it's really, would you say it's related to hollow ball? That's what I would say. Which is interesting because of the... the oh yeah, that's yeah. funny. That is funny. <laughs> um, we're laughing because um, hollow ball was started by my husband and um, his is he going to kill me if I tell everybody this? His That's okay. Was his nickname was Squid when, when he, he was, was younger. younger. Yeah, he was yeah. very tall and had um, long arms. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so 
I am going to start my squid and I kind of want my my little tendrils here to fall probably about um, no further down than where these words kind of start. So, but everybody's will be different. It will which is all really be different. Really, yeah. So don't it, like. It will work no matter. Yeah. What. Don't worry about it. Probably anywhere around here is good. So I'm going to start by drawing these long. Um, I'll start with like a simple one here. Um, kind of wavy little strokes and and a nice aura. This is like all about aura. But then they do kind of connect at the bottom there. And I'm gonna kind of skip around because if you skip around, you get a little bit more of a, um, I would say a uh, diverse way of how they fall. So I'm gonna put another one over here. Also, it's it's more even in terms of how you put put your strokes down. You know, if exactly. They're, if they're all over the place. Yeah. No, I have two stuck here. This is a, a great meditation because you're going to do a lot of these squidlings right. here. Squidlings. Yeah. And it, it's a it's a, a nice uh, rhythmic tangle. I'm surprised we haven't used it, but I'm, I'm going to go do something with squid. Yeah, right? And you want it sort of creeping out uh, uh, around that seed, not mm -hmm. so much starting on the line, but going around the line like it's it's hooked on. Yeah, you're so good at that little subtle hook. I've learned that from you. It's amazing, like, the power of the aura, right? You can kind of... Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have one that creeps over here. And then, so I've done all these kind of free ones, but... Um, once you start to have a few of them, just like Holabaugh, they draw behind. And the way this goes down, um, you don't have to be doing the same exact ones that Molly's doing. Uh, it, Nope, they There's have to be, do it exactly right. the same. <laughs> just <laughs> joking, just joking. <laughs> oh my God, yes, yes. Can you imagine? So they're very free-flowing and uh, kind of wild and crazy, right? Yep. I can imagine that like these, like sort of when this blossoms, it's like this unbelievable event. Right, right. Spectacular. And we'll talk more about how... Um, this plant thrives in the in the world, some world. Your world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, the more the merrier on this tangle. Well, the squid part of it, it's just two steps, right? And just repeat, repeat, repeat. Right. This is a really early tangle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is before my... It was probably the original. So now I'm kind of coming under from, you know, when it starts to get dense and the, you can even... You can't have too many of those <laughs> squidlings. Coming out. Right. You just want to keep going until, okay, I've had enough. Right. And the more kind of wonky and shaky. Escaping. Right. And even when it gets um, more and more full, I still find myself trying to um, dance around because it seems to fill in a more interesting way, I think, anyway. It, it does become a little bit of a game, though, because you're trying to make sure you go under and... I don't know if I said it, but I'm using the black micron right now, obviously. The O1, yeah. There might be some that sort of escape into the other regions.
Oh, you think? Mm. Play with that. Like that? Is that what you're talking about? Sure. Why not? You just can't keep them in enclosed, right? Right. You taught them that tucker in the first video, so then mm -hmm. now once you know that, you can kind of just right. play with it all over the place. This might be sort of an invasive species too, so they kind of make their own way. Well, what we've learned is that this particular flower, did I mention the name yet? Should I tell them the name you now? You can do anything okay. you want. Mom. Well, the name of this flower is called a squid dahlia. Ah. And, um, it actually only blooms um, at midnight. Ugh. Yeah, so you like people come from all over to come to the midnight. Right bloom. on the stroke. Yes, the on the blooming. It's sort of like um, a Cinderella type thing. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty. All right, we've we've got quite a bit in there. Um, I think they're looking pretty good. I sometimes will go back into the top ones and um, where there's like a little space, I might ink in some spots here and there. Trying to figure out where there might be. Just little bits here and there to add. I guess you call that some contrast, right? Mm -hmm. And we'll do more shading too to add yeah, some character in there. Right, yeah. What a difference it makes. I know, right? And I think by just doing it up there, um, I don't know what that does, but it's something very technical, right? Sure. All right, you can always add more later when we do the shading if you want, but it's sort of some initial sort of darkening there. Oh, I already love it already. It's very squidly. Very squid. My squidalia. Yeah. Squid ink. Yes. Oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah. That's that's where they, they make this unbelievable ink. Yeah. I think that's yeah. what it is, yeah. All right, the next tangle we're going to be playing with is a little bit of a variation of a tangle called Perk, mm -hmm. which is another favorite um, of original. ours. Yes, yes, it is another uh, original, yeah, yeah. or an OG. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to just create a shape here to start my my Perk that's a little bit like a... Um, like a cone? Or like a... Uh, I'm trying to think of that can the candy, the... Um, Hershey's Kiss. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a little bit like a Hershey's Kiss. So I'm going to create kind of a stroke, and I wanted to kind of come a little bit so it looks like it's kind of nestled in here, but I'm going to kind of um, down there and then down here, something like that. And I'm going to create basically some some stripes here. I'm going to give them a little bit out. I'm going to start in the middle. Let's see. I could. I think I might only be able to, I'm going to fit one, and then this one will be a little narrower, so it kind of looks like it's curving about. And you can kind of gauge what yours... They get a little narrower as you go. And then with perk, a lot of times you would do a double line, but um, I think we'll just leave it a single line for today, yeah. And uh, I'm going to fill these spaces with orbs. And um, one thing I've, I definitely learned from you, Mom, is that we kind of, like, they almost lose their orbness. You're really kind of trying to smush them into the space so that the they you feel the tension of the lines we created. So so they sort of are a little bit bigger than the lines you put down, <laughs> and so like they're trying to burst through. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. And a little bit of character, and then inking in these little like peas in a pod. Yes, which we we've also had a lot of this year. They were garden. And then kind of just playing with it as we go up. And this actually goes pretty quickly. Yep. So the real, the only real orb is the first one and the rest of them are a little bit behind it. So it's not quite a full 
round thing. Yep. This is, again, like a tangulation of perk, but. And then by making the stripes on the sides kind of um, thinner, it kind of has that sort of dimensional look. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. And so, um, let's see. Let me ink in a little bit here. Oh, this goes under there. All right, I think that's that's pretty good. And now that I have that in there, I've seen I can actually be like, oh, I want to put in a couple more of these here, there. Some of these more open spaces. So fun. All right, so this is quite the blossom. Like if, if you found one of these at midnight, of course. And um, now that we have the blossom in here, we can add a couple more behind. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Now we need a stem, right? Okay. I was thinking this plant is so big. This is a big blossom. I would say it's like it's heavy, heavy, like a sunflower, right? Maybe it's like very heavy. It needs a big stalk that kind of holds onto it. So this stalk kind of imagine that it has something underneath here that kind of is carrying it. And we can carry on the, um, so I'm just going to imagine that it comes down here. And this stock, which we're going to fill in some more of these in a minute, but for now, um, we're going to use Shattuck. I don't know if people are familiar with Shattuck, another but old, another one, yeah, yeah I guess I you took out all, all the, the old, right? Um, and I love Shattuck and Shattuck is your middle name. There you go. Yes. Um, I think, yeah, it was one of the first tangles. I, I feel like I, I think you did contributed. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on behind here and I'm not going to worry about it so much because we're going to add shading and all that stuff. So I'm going to just start my shattuck kind of closer to the bottom of where all these little things are. And I'm going to first start sort of a diagonal line, if you can see it. And um, if you have never done shattuck before, you might watch me for a minute. So you can imagine that there was a di diagonal line right there. And then I'm going to draw another diagonal line right here. And then just create a series of parallel lines. They go over and I'll, I'll add to it above there after to see what we need. And then once again, a diagonal line that's perpendicular to that last one. And then and I like to give like those parallel lines a little character, a little maybe curve to them. Diagonal line and then or almost like it does actually look like so is it like a palm tree or it something. Does. Yeah, it does that. All right. So, so we got the petals. I got the petals. Yeah, we got the center and then the stem. The stalk in here. I think I'm going to throw in like a couple things here to like pretend this is going behind. And then uh, we'll shade the rest of it. We're kind of ink in. And you can play around with how yours goes over that. It's all illusion anyway, so. All right. That looks pretty good, Mom. So 
sometimes just by adding a line here and there, it kind of adds to the density because it becomes so full. All right, so we got all that. Are we ready to add a little bit of absolutely a little yeah. shading here and there? I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add in um, a little bit of this jelly roll, I think. Show them which one. Oh, yeah, sorry. I'm going to add that use this, I think it, the official name is actually like brown, but it's, um, it's pinky brown. It looks peachy in the, the ca yeah, yeah. pen cap does. Um, and I'm going to, um, I'm going to ink in the orbs of my perk, but I'm going to leave a little, um, what do you call it? Highlight? Highlight, yeah. And I'm not even going to do it all the way to the edges. I'm going to play around with sort of a... So it's like you've got a low light going around the edge. Right. right. Yeah, and it's crazy, like, how much um, that, let's see if we can um, see that just by not going to the edges, it changes the effect. So I kind of create a bigger space than you think for that little highlight. You sort of set down rules, and if you do it in every one, it, it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. So whenever you're creating... If if uh, if you add one more detail, it's it's like a little tiny thing. It adds uh, interest, right? All right. So I got all my little orbs and my perk kind of. That actually looks really fun. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Um, I got all those filled in, and so now I'm just going to add um, some shading for this particular botanical illustrating illustration I think I'm going to leave most of the um I might add a little bit of the um in a second here I might add a little more of those uh pastel pencils but I'm going to start off by shading this part right here kind of goes closer to the but you're leaving some strands to highlight right yep Kind of trying to pencil in maybe the behind area. Just kind of playing around with a couple that are coming above, but. Just blending that in a little bit. And then I'm going to definitely add some graphite here at the top of the stock where things kind of fall behind, kind of to make that, oh, sorry, make that make a more sense. Not that any of this really makes sense. And you can take your time with yours, see what, how you want to kind of add contrast here and there. And then when it gets further down my stock, I'm going to play around with just adding a shadow. Blow the zig and zag below the zig and zag, right? This is what makes it look shaddocky. <laughs> shaddocky? Sha shaddocky. That's an adjective? Yeah. Mm. See how shaddocky that looks? It does actually look very shaddocky. And I, I think I have a little blue in my um, oh, torchio, yeah. and so <laughs> I think we've great. just, uh, and now I'm going to, I think I should add more blue. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but um, that's actually hilarious. So I'll add a little more blue just to make it look purposeful. 
Maybe that was a happy accident, Mom. Mm -hmm. We talked about all the different tortillons. I must have used this one for my blue. Or maybe Rick used it while we were gone. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think I'm going to add a little of the red pastel. Kind of just in random places on these. Um, not on all of them because I don't want to. I grab tortillon, right tortillon here. And you can do more or less. All right, and I think just a little bit of graphite in between here. Again, making sure you use nice soft um, stroke on top of the jelly roll. Mm -hmm. All right, and now I'm gonna do my background. I'm gonna use the yellow, I think, for my background. So I'm gonna do kind of the same deal that we've been doing for a while here. It's just doing the edge of our background just with the yellow. Okay, I've added um, quite a bit with my pastel pencils and graphite here, but I've left one more to kind of um, continue on and show you where I'm at. So I put this beautiful yellow pastel pencil just in the corners, because I think then you get a more varied. Varied, yeah. And then kind of just move it all around. And then doing a little bit of graphite over it. Yeah, just from the corners, it's enough. Right? Doesn't take much. It's that beautiful uh, new yellow, that uh, ochre yellow that I like so much. And I just realized we forgot to put our seed in, so I think we could put our seed in after the fact. This seed um, is very, very rare seed. Oh, it mimics the uh, the core and the center, right? right? And these. All wrapped up, ready to be discovered. I think that one of the stripes should be this cone color. Oh yeah, maybe I can just put um, you can see how we're uh, creating on the fly here. Well, I I um I actually had a different seed thing and thought, and then I was inspired, which happens often. Beautiful. And I liked how you had written seed on the samples, so I'm going to mm -hmm. do that. So I was using um, not script because script script some sometimes be so big that it would not fit in these t tiny places right and it's easier for me to to uh print the letters as opposed to uh script especially for the titles yeah right right make sure that's dry All right, 
So we have our seed in there. And now I think it's time, Mom, to write in. I had put in, you know, you're going to want to go back in. Oh, look at this. We forgot to shade right here. Just add a little bit. I had added this in here. And in the first video, we showed you that tucker, which we've used a couple times here, mm -hmm. which is such a cool. Um, right. And I love this shading technique. It's so simple and yet effective, right? Right. Oh, can you grab me another tortillon? No, because you you I keep don't, getting color you, on them. You almost don't even need to put any graphite down for, for that tucker shade. Mm -hmm. But it goes outward. Yep, you that's don't so do cool. In, yeah. So neat. Wow, isn't that funny? Look yeah. at how easy that is. Love that. All right, so we have that. So now we're going to put in our name. So um, I, of course, encourage you all to go back in with your um, your Micron before you do your names and kind of do your little bits of love, you know, kind of ink in areas. I'm just seeing little areas on mine. I've spent some time doing this already, but it makes such a difference. And a um, little rounding here and there, maybe redefining lines here and there. So Molly has uh, named her flower, but if you have an idea that we just haven't thought about yeah. um, that might be interesting. Yeah, um, we totally encourage you to, um, to do that. All right, so we're close, Mom. We're going to put in these names and finish this off, and it's, um, it's just so beautiful the way it's it is. really beautiful. <laughs> I know. And um, I do encourage you with the pastel pencils to be careful of your... Um, of your surface. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, some people I see that sometimes you might um, take like a a piece of paper like this and uh, to rest your hand on. That might be a good that's, idea. That's a good idea. Um, so this particular um, blossom we are calling the squidalia. Okay. Um, which I think is so beautifully and fancy. So, um, so I'm going to do a the title squid, and then it's D A. H. Dahlia. Squid Dahlia. And then let's look at these here. We have um, description where I'd like to sort of honor the tangles that inspired this. And mm -hmm. I used Perk. I used um, squid, and I used uh, shattuck. Ah, uh, so we got our perk, we got our squid, we got our shattuck, but where does this beautiful blossom live? Mm. Um, so we were talking about how interesting it was that historically, this flower has ever only been found in your best friend's yard. Yes. Which is crazy. I love that. Yeah. Your Y O U R. <laughs> yes. Friends. Backyard. Oh, oh just what? <laughs> yard. So. So that's interesting. It's hard to find them. So it's like the average person can't just go find one. They All have right. to actually um, go figure out. Um, and it might be in two of your best friends. Right. And sometimes best, I have lots of best friends. Yes. So yes, I always, I um doesn't have to be. There isn't one and only, of course. Yeah. Right. Um, so some notes on this particular flower is that it, um, interestingly enough, not only does it bloom in your best friend's yard, but it's only after a frost that happens in May. Right. So that's, that's pretty rare okay. in some places of the world, but it has to be. Um, but in New England, it's pretty much a given. <laughs> it is, <laughs> it's yes. A given. Uh, blooms during the black. 
chest, frost of May, but only if it's in May. In May. Okay. Oh, and it's at midnight. Okay. Yeah. I put that up here. You can read more about this um, plant in the historical archives of um, right. Zentangle um, Botanical Illustrations. Yeah. All right, so virtues. The virtues of this plant are also quite rare and very cool. And so if you can see in the center here of this flower, it grows these almost like kind of like berry type things, mm -hmm. almost like corn on the cob a little bit, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, but if you're lucky enough to harvest one of these blooms, you take um, the whole blossom and you, I would say, juices from this blossom. Like in a blender kind of juices? No, you squeeze them. Oh. Mood enhanced. How do you spell that? C E D. Ink. So if you squeeze the blossoms together, you get this ink. And the ink, when used to tangle or draw, is um, changes colors. Yeah, like from pinks to purples to, yes. to blue. It's unbelievable. Really beautiful. So that's the squidalia. Um, there's more um, studies being done on this particular That's plant true. currently, yeah. and we will know more information as it comes along, but um, you all can add to your squidalias, change the names, and whatever it is you need to, but um, for now, this is what we got. Okay. Thanks for joining me, Mom. I didn't have to great. do it all by I'm, myself. I'm grateful for being able to be with my daughter. Oh, that's Aww. so sweet. Aww. All right, I'm going to get you a squidalia. Okay. Yeah, because I think you're one of my best friends, so I, I could so. probably find one in your yard. I would like that. All right. Take care.